Well, the vision really was, as we started looking at edge compute and particular applications like the RAN for the telco networks, the legacy architectures for virtualization, such as Kubernetes and OpenStack, were really suited for a monolithic data center, a single facility. And as you look at those type of applications for Open RAN, it's a highly geo-distributed solution that's needed. That you have thousands of sites that have to be run as a virtualized framework. And so we embraced those uh, new requirements and created an open source initiative called Starling X, which we eventually commercialized as part of Wind River Studio. Uh, after several years of work, we won business at, at Verizon, which is now doing the national deployment of 5G in the United States, so a really great customer there. And then subsequently, OpenRAN started with ORAN, and we contributed that technology into the ORAN Foundation as the O-Cloud technology. That effort and our investments there won us business at Vodafone in the UK. Uh, and we continue to build business globally around that and really are hopefully becoming the de facto standard for cloud infrastructure for RAN and virtualized RAN. It was very exciting for us, so we're really very, very happy about that acquisition. Uh, Aptiv actually has tremendous relevance to what we're doing in 5G, and, and maybe we'll have a moment to go through that. In reality, Aptiv is looking to diversify their portfolio, and Wind River as a company develops significant revenue in aerospace and defense, telecommunications, medical, industrial, and other industries. And so we give them the ability to diversify in their revenue into their business while making new investments to grow the channels and vertical markets that we participate in. So uh, a very uh, good rationale to acquiring us. And of course, we're very active in the auto industry as well. If we look at a portion of our business is a uh, really entrenched in doing embedded real-time software systems. And these are safety critical systems that are used in avionics, aircraft, as well as automobiles. Wherever lives are at risk, you'll often find Wind River software there. And so as the automobile is becoming electrified and modern, uh, that's becoming a software defined vehicle. And so the software that Wind River provides is powering that next generation architecture that Aptiv is bringing to market for the vehicular market. Now, as we do that, these new automobiles are hyper-connected. They often have a 5G connection. And new capabilities like compute offload, vehicle to vehicle or vehicle to infrastructure, uh, and the ability to do over the air updates to the software means that 5G and telecommunications are connecting to the automotive industry and creating an end to end network unlike anything we've ever seen before. So the work that Wind River is doing in 5G and distributed cloud actually directly connects now down into the automobile and is hugely relevant to Aptiv. Inside the automobile, as a software defined vehicle, we're transforming that with mixed criticality hypervisors, embedded operating systems, Linux, Kubernetes, and things like this that modernize the architecture in the automobile in the same way the edge of the telecom network is becoming modernized. It's the exact same technologies used for a different use case. We do the same thing in aerospace and defense and in medicine as those edge devices are converging. So Wind River is a really unique company in that even though we're seen here in this forum at Mobile World Congress as an important vendor in the ORAN ecosystem, we're actually involved in all the end devices that connect in via 5G, whether it be drones or robots or automobiles, Wind River's present in those systems as well. They actually don't. Uh, as I had mentioned with Starling X, it's an open source initiative that's hosted in the Open Infrastructure Foundation. And it's a really exciting and vibrant community. We're seeing that a lot of different use cases, uh, customers that are working in the medical field, industries where, such as cloud robotics, uh, the avionics industry are virtualizing the edge of their system. So a lot of companies are becoming involved, contributing intellectual property. And due to the way an open source community works, that then comes downstream into our product and is released to our customers. So join the open source Starling X project and, and have some fun.